Today we're going to be deriving the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which I have shown right here. And this equation right here is used to find the pH of a certain solution that's mixed with the conjugate base and the, con and the acid. So this A with the minus sign is, stands for the concentration of the conjugate base. And this right here, HA, stands for the concentration of the acid. So if we have a mixture, and it's usually, a, of course, it has to be a weak acid. If we have a mixture of it, if we know the pKa, we can find the pH of the solution. So we are going to scroll down here, and this is what we start with. So what I have here is just the basic uh, dissociation of an acid with water, making the hydronium ion and the conjugate base. So what we do is we take the equilibrium constant of this equation, this general equation right here, which is what I have here. So the equilibrium constant, constant is simply the concentration of the products, so the hydronium ion and the conjugate base, concentration of the hydronium ion, concentration of the conjugate base, divided by the concentration of the reactants. And you only use the uh, states, the physical states of aqueous and gas, so that's why we are leaving water out. So like I said, the equilibrium constant is the concentration of the products divided by the reactants, and that's what we have drawn right here. Now when you do the equilibrium constant of the acid being deprotonated, you the equilibrium constant basically equals the Ka, which is probably something that you've heard about. So, and what I have written right here is I basically changed the hydronium ion straight to the H+, plus because they're actually equivalent, and this is probably what you see most of the time. So Ka simply equals the concentration of the uh, hydrogen ion and the conjugate base divided by the acid. So when we have that, now what we do to derive the henderson hasselbalch is that we take the negative log of both sides, negative log of Ka and the negative log of this whole thing right here, which I have drawn right here. So, like I said, we took the negative log of the Ka and the negative log of the whole other side, and then on this next line what I have here, all I've done is at the top right here we have H plus times the conjugate base divided by the acid. All I did is separate it out and put H plus times the conjugate base divided by the acid. Same exact thing, is just to make it easier for what I'm about to explain. So after we do that, scrolling down a little bit more, we're now on this line right here. So one, uh, uh, just using algebra, when you're taking the log of some something, you can actually separate it if you're multiplying them. You can, or for example, if you're taking negative log of h plus times something else, you can just change it to negative log of h plus plus the other thing and just separate the logs. Now, because it's a negative, I kept the negative in there. So after you do that, the negative log of Ka is equivalent to pKa, and the negative log of the H plus ion is equivalent to pH, and then this one right here is left the same. And once you're right there, we almost have it looking like the henderson hasselbalch equation. So just rearranging it, we just have to take this part and throw it on the other side of the equation, and now we have pKa plus the log of the conjugate base divided by the acid equals pH, and then I just rearranged it to make it look like what you're familiar with. pH equals pKa plus the log of the conjugate base divided by the acid. And there you have it. The, we just derived the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation.